the textbooks would say, and they currently still say, uh, profit and the profit drivers are, you know, your traditional profit model. Um, hours times rate times the number of people times the recovery, drive that, and you're well and truly going to make a profit. So uh, what I want to throw to the panellists is, is that's going to be a correct statement, and is it a correct statement going forward, given the current um, market that we're facing in the legal sector? Um, or, you know, do we, you know, why haven't we thrown it out? Um, what is keeping us stuck in our ways in terms of keeping that uh, traditional profit driver model? Um, well, there is a certain amount of inertia, but that's because the alternative is hard when you're dealing with really complex uh, matters like cross-border stuff and that um, spans different countries, different disciplines. It can be really hard just to use a, an alternative like a fixed price or you know any any one of these uh, different pricing models. And you're dealing with lawyers, your clients are lawyers uh, or accountants, and this is how we've been conditioned to understand how um, pricing works. So it's very difficult, and it's not just difficult for us um, as the lawyers or the legal firms, it's difficult to get the clients on board as well. Yeah. Because you've got to get them to come on that journey and understand how it works. Mm. So to buy some Ben, like in the firms that you're in, um, is that something that, does it still have a place? Or is it ever going to be thrown out? Or it's got to be combined with something else that you know? I think it's about having a bit of choice for clients, uh, having a, a suite of options in terms of pricing. Um, some, as you say, will, will enjoy a sort of billable hour, um, but others will want certainty from fixed pricing and, and uh, a bit of stuff in between, I guess. So it's about having options for the clients and, and making sure they've got a choice. Tobias? Um, I'd say that uh, clients are always looking for more certainty, and I think um, the professional model has long been I'm the professional and I'm the expert, so you need to rely on me telling you the truth and that whatever I charge you is for my expertise. And I think that's starting to change as we become more informed consumers. Um, so as we become more informed consumers, we need to become better at being transparent about what we're charging for and why we're charging what we're charged. So I think while There'll, I think there'll be a place for different models of pricing. Um, it's more about respecting our clients and um, coming to a better understanding of what their needs are. Yes. 